we still let a few people a few people in. Uh, I am just going to have us take a moment and I'm going to go ahead and call in the, uh, the elements and directions just to sort of open the circle. And then I'll send it over to Sandy to introduce uh, Christina and we'll get moving here. So, okay. All right. <clears throat> oh, I call upon the element of air, of east and the wind to bring the powers of clarity and purity. I call upon the element of fire, of south and the sun to bring protection and cleansing. I call upon the element of water, of west and the ocean to bring the powers of intuition and compassion. I call upon the element of earth, of north and the forest to bring the powers of grounding and strength. Opening of the circle and maybe for the highest good of all. Thank you, Nancy. Our circle is open. Um, um, yeah, thank you so much to everybody for being here and um, to, to Christina Seaborn and her friend Sally Annabella, now a friend of ours. Thank you for being here and we're so excited and I've been so looking forward to this. My name is Sandy and I'm currently on the occupied territory of the Paiute and I come from the occupied territory of the Tonga in California. So I get to introduce Christina who we, I just met and I just have to tell you how we just, I, we, I, I came to know of, of Christina which is wild because we have been in the same space together since 2009 at the Parliament of the World's Religions in Melbourne, Salt Lake City and Toronto. And I was even in the same room with her on a number of those occasions and did not know her. So I guess the time is now. Um, and um, uh, Sarah hosted a, a, a prayer vigil um, for women of Afghanistan immediately after the Taliban had taken over um, the country. And, um, and everyone was invited to share something and um we were near the end of our program and christina it was her time she wanted to share a prayer or a poem and she picked up her violin and tucked it under her chin and brought us all to her knees i've got full body right now i could cry um it the, there aren't words to explain how uh christina touched my heart and I was looking at the tears rolling down everyone's cheeks and all the pages of everybody in that call. And um, it, it was just magical. And the buzz around Sarah was this Christina, this Christina, who is that woman? She was just magical. And she really synthesized all of our hearts in that moment and really elevated all of our prayers to the heavens. And it was just profound. And then a couple of days later, we get a call. I, I get an email from Christina saying, I'd love to come and do something with Sarah. And here she is. So let me tell you a little bit about Christina. And she's a violinist and a fiddler and a composer and a teacher artist um, with degrees. This is amazing. I didn't even know there were degrees in jazz violin performance. And we're going to really benefit from that now. Um, and also a master's in orchestral conducting. Um, and you know, one one and her bio is on our website, and her website is on, you know, you can get to it from our website, and I'll send it to you after this call. But the last paragraph, I love what Christina says in her favorite performance on the violin is to spiritually uplift people in a way that is loving and giving, that inspires others to give and love and music as a prayer. So we're gonna experience that right now. And I'm just gonna hand this over to Christina and thank you for, again for being here. Thank you, Sandy. Well, I'm really, really thrilled to connect with Sarah. It's a group of women that, and men, that are doing really great things in the world. And after that, the prayers for the women and, and girls of Afghanistan, I went to find out more about them and I was really impressed. They've been around for 19 years doing all this interfaith work. And so I, I wanted to meet them. And it turns out we've already known each other for a while. And we've been in the same circles. The question I have for you is when you say to yourself, I am a sound woman, 
what does that mean to you? And so I ask you to think about that and then you could write it in the chat and I'll, I'll create an improvisation based on your answer. And my friend Sally has already been asked the question and so she can start first. And so you can think about it and then during the improvisation or any time during the next half hour, you can write your answer in the chat and then Sandy and Nancy will help pick. Uh, we want to have about six different answers because each improvisation will be about five minutes long. And so Sally, when you say to yourself, I am a sound woman, what does that mean to you? So when Christina asked me this a little earlier, the first words that came to mind were well balanced between mind, body, and spirit well-grounded, and strong. Okay, this improvisation is balanced, grounded, and strong. Michelle Newman, her answer to I am a sound woman is, I live a high vibe, high frequency life, body, heart, mind, and soul. I like that. that is a beautiful answer. Yeah. Okay, this is a high vibe, a high frequency life body, heart, mind, and soul.
it's fun. That was really beautiful, Michelle. <laughs> wow. I uh, actually am not playing the violin. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. I'm. Well, I'll go ahead and unmute Michelle. You said you what? I'm not really playing the violin. I understand. I hear I'm you. Actually, too. just letting whatever the answer is to happen, and um, and I'm actually in the audience to kind of like. Okay, <laughs> you know, I, I understand your channeling. I get it. <laughs> yeah, and um, so I'm just as delighted as you are. Just gonna walk in. <laughs> it, it was a special, it was especially uh, amazing to me because I've been recently listening to um, to both um, Yitzhak Perlman and oh. Zeno, and Zeno Franciscati play um, Beethoven's. Uh, which which I, I don't remember the number, but it but it had some of those exact oh it did that's real I I I need to send you this recording because oh, I love that. had great. a lot of the same things that I was listening to and not only that but my father played violin and when I was a child he used to listen to this very same recording that I've been listening to recently and what when when you were playing. I remember being that little three, four-year-old with my father just listening to these this master music. It, it put me into a lot of dimensional states. It was just amazing. That's great with the, with connections to really important people in your life. Yeah. With spirit. Yeah. Yeah, and I really felt you channeling definitely. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Yeah. So that's how I'm doing it, Sandy. Like I'm not actually doing it. <laughs> It's doing you. <laughs> well, it's more like getting out of our own way. It's right. always it's always the secret. <laughs> right. And you know. <laughs> okay, so now from Renee, I'm am I saying it right? Bergstrom. I got it. Okay. Resilient, compassionate, healthy, energetic, creative. Scandinavian dance. <laughs> <laughs> I told Sally Annabella you have to be on the right side of a fiddler because this is a really dangerous place to be. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> yeah. Did you say a Scandinavian dance? Yes. It sounded a little Irish, but I'm very definitely Scandinavian and I it 
also sounds like some of the music that I have heard from the Scandinavian, <clears throat> Scandinavian fiddler from Decorah, Iowa. Oh, cool. Well, you know, my theory is that the Irish got their music from the Vikings. <laughs> you know, those Vikings really got around. Right, they did. I think it's very connected. <laughs> yes. And they just made it their own flavor. You know? uh -huh. Then we brought it here and we had made it our own flavor too. Our, um, our community in Lanesboro, Minnesota is Irish and Norwegian. And so there's a lot of mix of both music from both of those places. Do the Amish people in Lanesboro come from that same background? No, they are more um, German background and they speak a language that is sub-German. Sub-German? Yeah. Yes, oh, well. and I don't think that they do music as much as, um, as the rest of us. Okay. I love Lanesboro. Oh, so you've been here. Right town. They they have an old timey uh, festival that my husband and I go to right. for our wedding anniversary every year, where you can oh. learn, you can learn how to play harmonica and how to call a barn dance, and and then okay. the Amish people are selling these really great homemade things, you know. Okay. And where do you live? St. <laughs> Cloud, Minnesota. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> <not> far away. <laughs> yeah. We're neighbors. <laughs> okay. Well, good. I hope to. Uh, we live right along the river, so you can see our place from the trail. So if you ever get on the trail, come and visit us. Oh, that would be great. A person I know in Lanesboro for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Now the next one's from Sandy, and it says. When I am in my integrity, a knowing of contentment, audacious and creative, balanced and confident.
were so rich and um oh wow i'm really speechless and anybody who knows me knows that's not a thing um, wow yeah there aren't words all i could say is i feel like you've liberated my soul <laughs> yeah it was nice i really like the answers that people are giving you know and uh, i did want to say this about the i am a sound woman theme this next millennium, I believe, is for the women. And it's for each one of us to stand in our place of leadership. And when you say to yourself, I am a sound woman, whatever that means to you to go stand in that place and be that. And that it's that's our job for this next millennium, for us to be truly who we are at the core, in confidence, and then say it to the world and lead in the way that we lead and so that's what this whole project is about so that okay whatever you just said there that's that's where you need to stand and be and actually it could be your answer for today and you might have a different answer for tomorrow and that's okay too but stand in that place for today you know i was trying to get the name but okay this is nancy jackson okay oh nancy okay so Nancy's answer is surrender, trust, and the authentic music of my soul. Thank you. 
goodness. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. My entire being is just vibrating <laughs> so intensely right now. It's like you just saying an absolute I, to my inner child and my current self and my higher self all at one time. Oh, wow. That's just beautiful. <laughs> You you touch each of our souls, Christina. As you as you play, we each feel that deep touching of our own personal soul based on your channeling for what we're asking or offering. Yeah, and it's the same for me. Like when you give that answer, you know, and then I hear the music and it's like, what a beautiful answer you gave. You know, and so <laughs> Yeah, I'm really loving these answers. This is really okay now. Thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you too. So Lois Tony McClendon. Oh wow. I keep myself in high consciousness no matter my circumstances. Okay, I'm gonna just take a drink of water. I think we should have a moment of silence with Lois's thought. Oh, I like that. So let's do, I keep myself in high consciousness no matter my circumstances. Let's just take that to our highest place.
So I have to take a deep breath on that one. It's kind of a hard job, isn't it, Lois? Well, you know, I literally felt it in my feet and arms. And like I was, because I always say I'm, I want to fly. And I really had a, a sense of, of taking off from my feet and my arms and, and a sense of flying. I really felt that, that I was, was flying. I'm, a, I'm currently going through healing from breast cancer. So I'm in, and that was sort of like a, another healing. Excellent. Washing over me. Yeah. Taking me to the sky and beyond. Yes. So this healing is, is all over you now. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, thank you for that. That is a really challenging answer for all of us, isn't it? No matter my circumstances. Now from, is it Kayla or Kala? Kala. Thank you. Kala. So from Kala, I am a sound woman. I am like a musical instrument and for the universe. And its music resonates through me, creating harmonies in all around.
The first part felt like a flock of dancing birds. Oh, wow. <laughs> as they were spinning, and then it just took off. Thank you so much. Really beautiful. Excuse me for not being in my physical visibility, but I've got a cosmic heart there. Thank I you. See, I, I see your cosmic heart. It Thank really you so beautiful. much. Really beautiful. Kala, that was a beautiful answer. That was so exquisite. Thank you. I'm trying to find where you can put a heart, but it only has raising your hands on my iPad. Otherwise, I would post a little heart. Well, it looks like your your heart is already on the picture. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Really beautiful. You're so welcome, and thank you. Okay, we have one more from V. I am a sound woman means to me that I have both external and internal hearing, listening, skills, gifts. came to me with that initially was, you know, sometimes there's dissonance in our life, but we have to dig deeper, go deeper. What does that really mean? And then as you continued playing, I just had this image of a river going through mountains and valleys and over boulders and small pebbles. And it was very light and felt joyful and uh, you know, kind of to sustain through that dissonance or maybe when there's big boulders in the, in the way. So thank you. You are so welcome. And uh, I have um, my friend, Sally Annabella here and um, my friend Nadine Myers here. And so with the recordings, uh, that we came up with today, Sally will add some voice and then Nadine is going to add some dance. And uh, so it'll be, 
you know, about a year long project. And what I thought would be really cool is if we had about 70 recordings, you know, from all different people of what I am a sound woman means to them. And then from all of those 70 recordings, we can pick the, the ones that we like best. Or we could just use them all. I don't know. It's not like we really have a plan or have it figured out yet, you know. Um, so uh, it, we're improvising. <laughs> we're figuring it out. <laughs> and so thanks for the idea. And I wanted to thank Sandy Hart and then Maureen, who's not able to be here because it was a project I've been wanting to do for three to five years. And then now all of a sudden there was a reason. To, to start it. Thank you so much, Christina. And I have to say, and hi, Nadine. Um, um, I, I have to say that this is, uh, Maureen and Christina have been communicating about this. Maureen, and please keep her in your prayers. She couldn't be with us today. Normally she would be here co-leading with Nancy. Um, and, um, and this is news to me, this is very, very exciting. So count us in to support this in any way we can as a, as an international circle of women, um, we can, you know, support this in any way that serves you. Uh, can I just reflect on something? Is that all right? Oh, please. Yeah, please. I feel that I, I just want to thank everybody's chats because everyone who chatted, what does the sound women mean to you? because I could claim all of those for me. I feel like they're so unique um, and yet they're so universal at the same time. And you're right, I think it was Michelle who said, when you're playing for one, you really are touching all of us in a, in a corner of our heart. Um, and I, I, when Lois, when you're playing for Lois, I was so swept up. I felt like this was just a through line to the universe. I got that vibration and I realized that you're really playing the vibration. You're playing to the vibration of a sound woman for all women. Mm -hmm. And perhaps for me, that, uh, it, that sort of awareness, I could say it, but it didn't hit my awareness level. It didn't hear, hit me at that frequency until I heard you the first time. And then it was confirmed the second and then the third. And it's like, yes, that's what you're doing. It's magic. It's you know, it is. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I just say I'm something? I'm complete, yeah. That, um, just sitting here and um, just being in the whole energy of it all, um, every, time that, every time Christina would play to one of the, um, one of the suggestions of the words, it, 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 uh, I would just sit here and just kind of, absorb the whole thing and and um and it's truly it's different each time and it, I, I don't know it's just really cool you have my sister friend <laughs> have such a gift and you are a gift um just amazing <laughs> you know when we all sit um when we all sit in a circle and everybody speaks from their heart mm -hmm. this feels like taking that energy but then um because you are touching each person's soul, Christina, it's like you're saying what's behind what we're all feeling and saying. We're all sitting in a circle talking about how we're feeling and talking and whatever, but then you step behind that energy and bring it out in a way that even the person who was saying it didn't know that's what it was. You know what's funny is when I first came to the first Sarah event, I thought, Oh, all of these prayers are so beautiful. There's no way I could possibly match such beautiful prayers and but I could play the violin and and so that's what I feel about all of your prayers that it's just so moved me and touched me what you were praying for the women and girls of Afghanistan. And I was just so blown away by the quality and the energy. So I think each one of us does offer the, offer that gift of sharing the spirit and the soul and and, and I think what it is, is that we're willing to be vulnerable to open up our soul and share it. And there it is. And hopefully people will treat it well, you know, because we've just put it out on a silver platter for others to view. And then what I noticed that the response is, is that causes others to open up their heart and soul 
and become more open and willing to be vulnerable. And so that's, that's what I see as the circle. That is exactly what circle does. Mm -hmm. And Michelle, thank you for saying it so perfectly. I am from articulating it so well. You speak the unspeakable at a vibration that can't be spoken, but is truth. And it's, it's just grace. It's simple grace. And can I just say, but Tori, I mean, Lois, sorry, Lois, Tony, sorry, Lois. Um, I call that being orgasmistical. <laughs> <laughs> How do you describe that? So, you know, thank I'm you. Glad, I'm glad that wasn't one of the answers. I'd be like, uh-oh. I'm going to hear you play that. You said in public? <laughs> said, okay. Well, it was all in there. All of that was <laughs> orgasmistical. It was all in there. That you need to submit that word to the uh -oh. OED. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to get it, I don't know, copyrighted, trademarked or something, but I'm going <laughs> to do something with it other than just talk about, oh, that's so orgasmistical. I have to like <laughs> explain what it is and then I have to show people how they can tap into their orgasmicism. Um, oh, hell. Um, that's a work in progress for me. Uh, you're going to have a lot of people knocking on the door. <laughs> <laughs> Can I can I say one more thing? Is that okay, um, Chris? Is it is it okay, Sandy? If I say something? Um, oh, we're in circle. Okay, Christina, uh, I, I'm a sound healer also. That's why I put the high vibrational frequency. I have a crystal bowl orchestra, and and what I know is that the music and everyone said this in so many different ways. The music is healing. And what's even more healing is, for instance, Lois will take what you played for her and hopefully it will help her heal with her breast cancer. And each of us, whatever is going on with us, what you played for us, it's like an imprint that we can take into, in other words, yeah, you did it and you're going to create a project. But for those of us that you came up with it for, that you were channeling specifically for, each of us now has a healing song, a song we can take with us that can, I mean, I, I hope you don't mind, but I recorded it while you were playing it. And I'm thinking, I'm going to play this all day long to remind myself of who I am and what's going to keep me in my personal flow. So it, it's, it's, it's a big healing tool that you are channeling. Well, you know, I never thought I was a sound healer. And so now you're, you're giving me this new gift and I always thought it would be a great idea. So thank sound, you. Thank sound, you. For that. <laughs> sound healing is using music for healing purposes. That's all it is. Oh, well, thanks for giving me. I just, I didn't know I had the title. So thank you. Everybody who feels healed, raise your hand. <laughs> I think that, I think you are a sound healer. <laughs> Let's should we go back into circle? Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else? I mean, would you? Is there a way to synthesize everything into one piece? Is that putting you on the spot? Oh no, nothing puts me on the spot. <laughs> I'm not the one doing it. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. okay so this that. one is for uh, synthesizing the full circle, right? Is that what you just said? I'm game. Yeah. Okay. All right.
simply stunning. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's um, it's beautiful to have music. You don't need to have words, and you just feel and express and uh, experience. Uh, thank you so much. This has been just uh, that was so integrating. Absolutely. Well, thank you for your answers. I loved everyone. Well, on behalf of Sarah, I thank everybody for showing up and for you, Christina and Sally, Annabella. I'm so grateful, Maureen, we're missing you. And, um, and thank you, Nancy, for holding the space. For the bubble bath for the soul, we have another one coming up on October 6th. Do you want to close our circle or this is your call? All right, absolutely. Yes, I'm going to just go ahead and close out with the, uh, the elements. And um, just once again, thank you everyone for being here and for, uh, yes, your beautiful answers and for bringing this beautiful healing. Thank you. Just go ahead and up here okay all right so i'm just going to close this out so we give thanks to the element of earth of north and the forest for bringing your quiet strength we give thanks to the element of water of west and the ocean for bringing your insight we give thanks to the element of fire of south and the sun for bringing protection and we give thanks to the element of air, of east, and the wind for bringing clarity. The circle is now closed. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you, everyone. Oh, gosh, can't wait. Can't wait for what's next. There's more to come, too. So if you're watching this because you couldn't be with us, there's more to there's more here. So we can't wait to find out what that is together. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Oh, so I don't want to end the call. Do I have to? <laughs> I know this is the hardest part. Goodbye. Blessings. Bye.